That's a cat. This is Peep. And this is the big wide world he sees every day. But once upon a time, the world he saw looked like this. began exploring the minute he was out of his egg. The first thing he ran into was Quack the Duck. Chirp introduced herself soon after. Chirp! Peep was lucky to have friends who could teach him all about the big wide world. That's a hummingbird. Oh! And that's a peep. And this is a tree. Birds fly high way and sit on the branches. Uh-oh, she's humming that a cat climbed up the tree this morning, and it's still there. <gasps> What's a cat? Don't let it see you. Come here. a terrible thing. It hides in the dark, where it can't be seen. And it watches you from the shadows. <gasps> it moves so quietly that a bird never knows it's sneaking up. What does it do then? It opens its mouth wide. A cat has more teeth than I can count. And makes that awful cat sound. And I got meow! Meow! Like that. She's saying, don't forget the claws. The cat has long claws that stick out of huge paws and swat at you as you fly. A cat also has two gigantic hind legs that it uses to spring long distances. With legs and claws like that, it's easy for the cat to jump into trees and scare innocent birds. Wow! I sure hope I never meet a cat. <laughs> should be running away now. <laughs> You're not a cat. You're nice and soft. <gasps> I'm not nice. I'm a cat. 
You're supposed to be scared of me. <laughs> You're funny. What are you really? Are you a bear? No, I'm a cat. Meow? Okay, here's the plan. You run around behind the cat while I save Peep. No, 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 no. I have a much better plan. You don't look like a cat. I look exactly like a cat. See? Tail, paws, whiskers. Show me your teeth. Hmm. <gasps> nope. Totally different. You hardly have any teeth at all. Plus, a cat is supposed to slink around silently. You hit the ground like a big lump. You want Slinky? Watch this. <laughs> and a cat has giant claws. Then... All we have to do is grow 17 ears of corn. Is that a unicorn? Uh-huh. We only need one for the plan to work. Four would be better, though. <laughs> Those little things? <laughs> They're not scary at all. I tell you, I am a cat. Name anything a cat does and I'll do it. Well... A cat can leap right to the top of a tree. Let's see you do that. No problem. Peep! Get away! That's the cat! Really? Are you sure? Huh. Some things in this world are so surprising. should be very afraid. You know, maybe that cat's not so scary after all. Where are you going? Hey, come back here. I can't get down. So that's the story of how Pete met Tom, the cat, and discovered that some things aren't at all the way you imagined them. Maybe we should start rounding up unicorns, you know, just in case we need my plan again. There's no such thing as a unicorn, Quack. Of course there is. If there wasn't, then my plan wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Silly chirp. Peter took me, Solmera, and Keaton out to look for cats in the neighborhood. The first one we saw is named Notch. He's all black and very friendly. Notch has really sharp claws if you look under all his fur. Look how big those claws are. When he walks, it's like he's acting like he's so important. His fur is shiny and smooth. Now we're at Peter's house. This is Huff. Huff? Huff, Huff with an H. Hi, Huff. Huff had much longer fur than Notch. With all that fur, it also makes the cat look bigger. Now we are going to an art supply store. They have two cats in the store. We are following the paw prints on the floor. They lead this way. This way. Hopefully they will lead to one of the cats. We found Syllabub. Her fur is black and light brown. 
Syllabub seems sleepier than not. We're feeding cream cheese to Serafina. She's Syllabub's mom. Her tongue is pretty rough.